When I graduated UCLA, I moved to Northern California, and I lived in a little town called Elk on the Mendocino Coast. And um, I didn't have a phone or TV, but I had U.S. mail. And uh, life was good back then, if you could remember it. And I'd ship my film to San Francisco, and lo and behold, two days later, it would end up on my front door, which was way better than having to fight the traffic of uh, Hollywood. I didn't have much money, but I had time and a sense of wonder. So I started shooting time-lapse photography. It would take me a month to shoot a four-minute roll of film, because that's all I could afford. I've been shooting time-lapse flowers continuously, non-stop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for over 30 years. And to see them move is a dance I'll never get tired of. Their beauty immerses us with color, taste, touch. It also provides a third of the food we eat. Beauty and seduction is nature's tools for survival because we protect what we fall in love with. It opens our hearts and makes us realize we are a part of nature and we're not separate from it. When we see ourselves in nature, it also connects us to every one of us because it's clear that it's all connected in one. When people see my images, a lot of times they'll say, oh my God. Have you ever wondered what that meant? The O means it caught your attention, it makes you present, it makes you mindful. The my means it connects with something deep inside your soul. It creates a gateway for your inner voice to rise up and be heard. And God, God is that personal journey we all want to be on, to be inspired, to feel like we're connected to a universe that celebrates life. Did you know that 80% of the information we receive comes through our eyes? And if you compare light energy to musical scales, it would only be one octave that the naked eye could see, which is right in the middle. And aren't we grateful for our brains that can you know, take this electrical impulse that comes from light energy to create images in order for us to explore our world? And aren't we grateful that we have hearts that can feel these vibrations in order for us to allow ourselves to feel the pleasure and the beauty of nature? Nature's beauty is a gift that cultivates appreciation and gratitude. So I have a gift I want to share with you today, a project I'm working on called Happiness Revealed. And it'll give us a glimpse into that perspective from the point of view of a child and an elderly man of that world. <laughs>